we have a new elite quarterback in the National Football League. His name is Carson Wentz. And I can absolutely say that with a straight face and firmly believe it with 23 starts under his belt coming out of North Dakota State. We have a new elite quarterback in this league. If we, and, 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 and he does it all, okay? This kid does it all. He knows the system that Doug Peterson has put into place. He has the trust of his coach. The number of times we see the run pass options, the number of times that he changes protection, the number of times that he sees the defense in front of him and makes the right decision more often than not is something an elite quarterback does in this league. Somebody who uses his legs when he needs to. Somebody with escapability from the pocket when it's required. Somebody who stands in the pocket and takes the hit when it's required and still delivers the football. Somebody who is the captain of a team that everybody follows. Somebody whose style of play and whose attitude is contagious on the team. Somebody who makes everybody around him better by spreading the ball around. Somebody who wins. Somebody who leads the league in touchdowns through seven weeks. Somebody who is the quarterback of the only six-win team through seven weeks. If that quarterback was named Brady, Breeze, Aaron Rodgers, we would be talking about that player as the potential MVP for the emerging season. It's time to have that conversation about Carson Wentz. He is the quarterback of the six-win Philadelphia Eagles that just completed a season sweep of the Washington Redskins. They, Eagles, lead the NFC East by two and a half games over the Cowboys, who are three and three, same record as the Redskins. But that's a three-game lead over Washington because they have the tiebreak now in their back pocket. They will be 7-1 and one when they beat uh, the once-upon-a-time uh, toughest 0-6 team in the history of 0-6 teams. The F San Francisco 49ers come their way this week, licking their wounds from a 30-point beatdown at the hands of the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, would be a shocker if the Philadelphia Eagles didn't improve to 7-1 and one, um, in that regard. And then uh, the Denver Broncos come and pay them a visit in week number nine. They should win that one before heading into a bye week. How this team is going to get beaten, one thinks maybe you see their left tackle, Jason Peters, goes down last night. That was a tough blow. That was a really difficult blow. But you've got this kid, Wendell Smallwood, right? I mean, he's terrific. Uh, when you thought Darren Sproles was going down, that they would not have some form of a change of pace uh, quick back to make those quick yards um, out of that that read zone mesh point, that run pass mesh point. Uh, LeGarrette Blunt coming downhill and hitting you. Alshon Jeffrey um, is uh, of note outside the numbers. This kid, Nelson Aguilar, is having a, a career-defining campaign from the slot. Zach Ertz, you've got to throw him in the mix with Gronk and Kelsey for most dynamic and productive tight ends in this league. 100%. Fletcher Cox is one of the top pass rushers in this league right from the middle of that defense. Uh, Jim, Jim Schwartz is plugged into what this team needs to do defensively. Uh, that kid Elliott's making field goals from 60 yards out. So even if they stall uh, on somebody's 30, 35 yard line, they're a threat to score points. <laughs> You're looking for the best team in the NFC. It's it, you, you stop looking. You saw him last night. You saw him last night. They took a nice, they took a nice uh, punch from Kirk Cousins and the Redskins to start that game. Uh, Washington won the first quarter, for the lack of a better phrase, last night. Uh, they came out and their first 15 scripted, as, as they have been much of the season from Jay Gruden, were, were effective. But then Carson Wentz goes up top to uh, one of his young wide receivers that I proffer to say nobody's ever heard of, and, and then spreads it around. Four touchdowns, once again, 17 on the season. For more Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Rich Eisen Show app.